The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be sharing some obscure PC Engine shooters. That's right. As much as I am a North American collector, I love to play video games. And, you know, overseas there were so many games released for the PC Engine that we never got here for our Turbo Graphics. And so today I am going to be searching out and sharing with you some PC Engine obscure shooters. Let's check it out. All right, this is Atomic Robo Kid Special. There is a Mega Drive version. This is a little different. This is a more console friendly version of the arcade game. And there's additional features. The levels are a little bit longer. There is a health bar instead of one hit kills. There are many different weapons in this game. And so you, there's a lot of strategy on choosing the right weapons. The levels are colorful and sprites varied. And so I really like this game a lot. It, they did a good job with the, with the port of this game. And it, it, this, the TurboGrafx one to me is console friendly. You know, with that health bar and stuff, this is one that definitely makes me want to play it more. And, you know, it's kind of, kind of a unique take on a shooter. It's more of a shooter adventure game. And so I really like this. Definitely worth checking out. And one, if you're looking for something different, check out this game. All right, next up is Dragon Saber. And this is a follow-up to Dragon Spirit. And what's cool about this, this is a two-player game. And you know what? I didn't even know that this was a thing. And so... This was a, a pretty decent game. It's not the best shooter, but if you're a fan of Dragon Spirit, and I know there's a lot of fans out there, what's really cool about Dragon Spirit is, you know, it has a kind of Xevious style gameplay. Uh, on top of charging up, you can have a charge up shot from your dragon, and as well as a secondary fire in which you can hit things on the ground. And you can get lots of cool power ups here. I, I like this game. It's got really cool creatures in this game. If you're looking for something a little bit different than kind of the science fiction fair, you can go kind of more, more this way. But yeah, I like this game a lot. This is a, this is good. Lots of little hidden secrets in the game. Cool power-ups. Definitely check this one out if you're looking for a follow-up to Dragon Spirit. Next up is Download. And if you like Akira, if you like Cyberpunk, and you like shooters, this is for you. I think Download, you know, unfortunately it's been forgotten about. You know, there was a follow-up sequel to it as well, and it just didn't uh, get rave reviews. I think it's a decent shooter. It's a horizontal shooter. It has some awesome, awesome cutscenes, And so I really think this is worth revisiting. It is, it is pretty, it, it, it's pretty intense. I like it. You know, I think it, I think it has aged better than what the previous reviews gave it. And I like it. So go ahead, you can choose your setup at the start. And it is pretty fast. You know, it's a horizontal shooter. It's got decent graphics. I do like the first one better, even though the same team was involved with the second one. Uh, I, I like the first one a little bit better. Art style is a little, it's a little more abstract. But yeah, I like it. Good stuff. Definitely check out Download. All right. I was really surprised by this game. And this is done by an obscure company called Face. And you know what? You pilot a, a tank-like vehicle. There are several areas. There's weapons in this game. And it, it has really good control and decent sound. You pick up you know, various weapons and you can select them from a menu screen. And you know, the, the levels start off simple and then get pretty complicated. And so it's got good control. I like the varied enemies. And I just came back to this one over and over again. This is one I'm gonna definitely be playing more of. It's just different, you know, there's, there's so many shooters have to uh, involve a ship. You know, this one take kind of takes a different approach where you're a vehicle. And, you know, I, I really like the design of the levels. They get pretty varied as you go on in the stages. And so the, it starts off kind of 
kind of simple and then gets more complicated as you go. But I, I really like this one. I definitely uh, was surprised by this one the most and look forward to playing this one more. All right, this is Override. You know, and this is a game that's probably going to be overlooked by other popular series, but you know, this is good. This is everything that you would want in a PC Engine shooter. It's fast. It definitely reminds me of Blazing Lasers for the speed. It's got colorful enemies. It's fast. You do have a health bar. I do like that. It So it kind of takes away, uh, it, you know, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's got large sprites. There's power-ups. It's fast. It's fairly challenging too. But yeah, definitely, you know, this is going to be overlooked by other games, but I'd check it out. If you're looking for something different, Override is a good shooter that a lot of people have forgotten about. Like to control robotic bunnies? Well, this is a game for you, Rabio Lepus Special. And this is loosely based on the arcade game. It is different. The backgrounds aren't as detailed, but I have to say that this is a very difficult shooter. If you're looking for a challenge, this is for you. You have uh, a select number of missiles that you can launch. You do have a shield bar, and this is a fun game. I, I like this game. It definitely, uh, this is a challenging game. When you die, you go back to a checkpoint. If you're looking for a challenging horizontal shooter, this is one for you. It's got colorful graphics, like many other PC Engine games. And this is something, you know, it's pretty obscure. Now, there was an arcade port later on to the PlayStation 2, but I like these specific ports of games that were specific to a specific console. And I like that about this game. It's got really neat and interesting characters. I like it. I like it a lot. It is challenging, though. I have to say <laughs> that if you're, if you're not too good at shooters, this one's going to be a tough one. Next up is Final Blaster, another exclusive to the PC Engine. This one has some nice graphics, and the, the cool thing about this is it has a special feature in which you can launch out a Phoenix to the enemies. You know, it's a it's got your standard power-ups, it is a vertical shooter, and I really like it, you know. It's got all the things that would make a shooter great. It's decent difficulty. Got nice colorful graphics. Like many other games on this list, these are going to be overshadowed by more popular titles, but there's enough here to check it out. I think you'll like it. All right. This is Heavy Unit, and this is an arcade port to the PC Engine. It's a little bit scaled down, fairly challenging. It was also on the Mega Drive. And so, but you know what's a cool? It's a cool horizontal shooter, and I, I like it. It is fairly challenging. It's got some cool enemies and it's got decent graphics. And what it is, is you do get some power-ups in this game. There are six levels and there's some really cool things in this game. You can get a rare transforming pod and the transforming pod makes you turn into a, a mech and you have some really cool uh, weapons when you get that. So yes, I like this game. It is very difficult though not for the faint of heart, and it, it, it will challenge anybody who plays it. Another obscure shooter is W-Ring, the Double Rings, and this is a horizontal shooter, and I really like it. it kind of has a feel like Gradius, but it's easier in a way. I love that you can speed up your ship at, like many other shooters on the PC Engine, you have three speeds. Uh, I think the third speed is a little too fast. But yeah, I like this. I like this. It has a beginner mode, and so it's, it's a little bit more approachable as a shooter. It, it is fairly obscure. And, you know, there's so many shooters that came out for the PC Engine, and so many didn't come here. And so it was nice to kind of find this gem 
and check it out. You know, I've, I've never heard of it before, and so, you know, checking this shooter out is, is nice. I definitely recommend it for someone who may want to approach a shooter who may not be the best at them. This is one to pick up. All right, another obscure arcade port, Saint Dragon. This was ported to many things. Uh, Amiga, Atari ST, but the, you know, the, the PC Engine version is really good, and I like it. And so, you know, you, you control a, uh, a robotic a mechanized dragon, and you can use your tail to inflict damage on enemies and deflect shots. And so it's really, it's got a, kind of a cool premise to it. It's got good graphics, it's got good gameplay, it's everything that you would want in a shooter for the PC Engine. It's got some really cool enemies. Using those power-ups. Use your tail to give damage to enemies. Yeah, take that. So today I use the PC Engine Software Bible by Sun Team, and it was very helpful with researching and finding out some awesome classic shooters out there, you know, and I can't wait to explore more PC Engine games. There's so many classics out there we didn't get. What are your favorite? What are some today that you are gonna check out? Comment below as I would love to hear from you. Thank you for the ongoing support. It is most appreciated. Make sure to hit that like button. Hope you liked today's video. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much and you take care.